Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Robcast Prevent of the Nerd Podcast. Con Review Edition. Hello, everyone. It is Rob Cicchetto once again uh, doing the review from my studio uh, in beautiful Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Hi, everyone. Uh, I would like to preface this video by asking you to please, uh, you know, support the channel by uh, uh, giving me a thumbs up and uh, subscribing to the channel, please. Uh, you know, everybody kind of does that, right, and to, to kick off the videos and things, uh, keep it top of mind. So, uh, you know, if you could do that, I would be forever in your debt, and I would thank you from the bottom bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you so much. If you could please. Uh, click the subscribe button uh, please comment uh, if you have any comments or questions please do that check out my uh, zombie daily site as well on patreon I will leave the link in the description below and let's get to the video yeah 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 this was one of those cons man and uh, you know what I, I, I'm not uh, I'm not here to uh, to bury the con but uh, god damn it um, what a, what a complete and utter disaster for me personally to go to London Ontario where Shockstock was uh, hosted um, you know, th th this just is not a con for me, uh, and apparently not for a lot of others. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna just boil it down to this, man. Uh, if you are a rabid movie nerd, geek, or aficionado of the bizarre and uh, and strange, and even the strange formats, like if you if you if you even know what a VHS tape is. Uh, and you want and you want some obscure movie on VHS or an old movie on VHS or some bootleg videos or, or whatever uh, you know this is the place for you if you want to talk to sort of like uh, out of date uh, actors and uh, super indie directors and and things of that nature uh, this this is the place for you. If you are trying to sell anything else, if you bring anything else to the game, if you bring anything else to this party, you will be summarily ignored uh, and disregarded uh, entirely. Uh, people will wonder what the fuck you were even doing there, uh, as uh, I, I really, really felt. Uh, and I, you know what, man? I had some really great, like, weird, bizarre, uh, like, shock uh stuff uh you know in terms of content and things in in uh some of the materials i brought and i brought things specifically because of that but uh, uh, uh you know it was like i was not even there and uh, a lot of other uh, vendors that i guess uh thought that uh, they could you know uh, get over with the crowd uh and didn't uh felt so um, yes, it was. Uh, I, I felt a very, very, very clickish crowd uh, of vendors, and you know what, man? That's totally fine. I I have nothing against anyone that that uh, was there as a vendor at all. Uh, it was just absolutely a thousand percent not where I should have been. Uh, and um, this was something I expressed earlier uh, in, in, uh, in, in, in sort of being, uh, being um, uh, approached to do this con. Uh, and uh, I, I'd been to Shockstock uh, when it was at the Centennial, uh, Centennial Center in, uh, in uh, London. And I love London. I think London, Ontario is wonderful. It's a great, beautiful place. Uh, they've got great uh, uh, heroes, which is a great, great comic book store. I was overwhelmed. I'd never been there before, and utterly overwhelmed uh, with uh, with with what it was. Uh, I stayed with a uh, a wonderful uh, some wonderful folks down there, and uh, I, I I had a you know what I had a great time peripheral to the con itself. Um, you know, pe people walked by uh, my my booth, uh, my 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 table set up. Uh, not you know, not even not even li literally trying to avoid eye contact. Uh, yeah, it was such a surreal experience. 
Uh, I did so. I've never done that poorly at a con. I think in, in the last ten years, uh, it was absolutely excruciating to be there. Uh, I just uh, I brought so much work with me. I, I thought, oh, you know what? If it, if it if it's really bad, uh, at least I've got all this work to do. I finished all my work uh, on the first day I was there because it was absolute deadsville for old Rob Cicchetto here and uh, a lot of other vendors, uh, some who uh, left even before I did. I was like, this, this, I, I can't waste my time here anymore. Uh, I left uh, mid-Saturday uh, because guys, like, wow, uh, I, I, I've never felt that, like, disregarded or, uh, or invisible I think ever, I think ever at any con I've ever been. Uh, so, like I said, if you're like if you're like if you wanted to like if you want to go to a uh, sort of get together or sort of uh, thing where uh, people are people uh, have like bootleg videos, like horror stuff, weird, bizarre things, whatnot, uh, and, and you want to meet like uh, like o older. Uh, like B movie actors or 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 like the odd porn star, I guess. Um, and and you want like you want to get some weird uh, VHS tape of something. Uh, if you even know what a VHS tape is at this point, uh, this is the place for you. Uh, you know, if you want to party it up with, I guess, uh, uh, like a sort of really clickish. Uh, crowd, uh, then this is the place for you. Uh, and I've got nothing against the people that were there at all, at all, at all. The, uh, the bottom line is I just did not belong there. Um, and uh, I, like I said, a lot of other vendors did not either. Some even left before I did uh, because they were just like, they, you know, they, they either couldn't afford to stay, uh, uh, you know, because they, they were staying in a hotel or whatever. I, I just basically said, you know, if, if uh, I, like I, we started Friday, we got there Friday set up. Uh, when the doors opened, it looked like there was no one coming in. Uh, kind of same for Saturday. And uh, I just saw the same people walking around and around and around and around. If anyone has ever seen uh, Midnight Express, uh, and when the main uh, when the main protagonist is is in a I, I think he's like in a mental institution jail, and there's like just inmates walking around a pillar, and, and like they're just doing that all day. That's that's what that that's the experience I felt uh, being at Shockstock, uh, and uh, I, I was I was starting to kind of lose it, man. I was starting to kind of lose my 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 head. Um, it would I, I, like I've never done that poorly at any con. Like I said, probably in in about ten years, uh, it was just not the place for me at all. Uh, so this is a warning to vendors. If if you if you don't have the specific uh, material that uh, is sort of uh, uh, all, like that has been th the norm at Shockstock for like as long as they've been there, which again is like you know uh, weird weird DVDs and 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 weird format. Like who knows? Like Blu-ray, laser disc, uh, all that shit. If you don't have that, and it's not horror or weird, don't go as a vendor. Do not go as a vendor, man. You will be ignored. You, 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 you like. Uh, I, I talked to some of the people on the floor that didn't that didn't have that kind of stuff, and they were like, "Wow, this is the this is the worst." And I, I was like, "Yeah, it is. It, it is." Uh, but you know, we're here. Let's make the best of it. But even that got uh, uh, difficult near the near the end or near like near the halfway point because we knew. And you know, somebody some someone right next to me. Uh, laughed and the table was open. It's like I could have ten tables here. I didn't even bother asking if I could have that table because I could have had ten tables and it. The result would have been the same. Nobody would have given a shit. Uh, the odd people that did like bought, purchase things from me, um, you know, 
uh, it, it, it was just a weird, it was sort of weird. It was like, uh, it, it, it was so haphazard. Uh, I could have brought anything. Uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, I wasn't there. I, I wasn't there. I, like, I kind of wasn't there to be, you know, uh, known for who, who I was or what I did or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I got the odd, like, oh, your art's great. But then, okay, your art's great. Bye. And then like that, that was the kind, <laughs> that was the kind of thing. Uh, so again, I, 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 I don't want to shit on this. I don't want to shit on this con because, uh, apparently it's like, it's fantastic for the people who, uh, it's for specifically, but for everyone else, it's a, here's a warning to you. Okay. So I, I really want to make that clear. Uh, I, I, you know what? I just heard some things like I, I, I heard things that outside of what I'm specifically talking about right now in terms of like the organization of it. Uh, there, there was no, uh, there was no way to get money on hand. Like there was no, uh, apparently people were like, the only way to get the only way to take money out or, or anything is to go to the bar and ask for cash, like cash back. But I think you'd have to buy something or whatever. Uh, people were telling me uh, like every garbage in the bathroom was like over full. It was just very um, uh, poorly organized uh, in terms of the the uh, the venue that it was in. It was in a hotel. I don't even remember. I yeah, I don't care. It doesn't really matter to me where it was. I'm trying to forget about it already. Uh, I'm just doing this video to to warn uh, any vendor that doesn't have that requisite stuff that they already do year after year after year uh just to not go just, you know if you're into that stuff fuck man it's, the, it's 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 a mecca for you and, and and yeah uh and it's more of a party thing you know it's more of a party than it is like a, a con uh because yeah it doesn't look feel smell or 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 anything sound like any kind of con that you probably would expect. Uh, so uh, I, I won't be going back. Uh, I, I don't care how far it is in the future. I, I won't be going back to this one. Um, but I, I am not trying to dump on it. Uh, like again, it was just not for me. Uh, not not in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so, you know, I didn't see anyone like really selling art or anything like that. There was one individual I met that was a uh, really cool guy. I, I, I forget his name now as I do with everyone, but uh, uh, he, was, he was doing these cardboard, uh, like sort of cardboard cutout sort of art. And, and, like his stuff looked great. I didn't have a chance to see his booth, but again, like there was, I was in one room and then there was another room somewhere else where other things were happening. And, uh, and then there was like late night, screenings and and q a and stuff which again like man if you're into that kind of stuff good that's for you go to it check it out but if you have anything else and i i guess the point i was trying to make it uh, trying to make with the uh, with the other guy was i don't know if uh, like if he sold anything or or what the deal was with him um uh, but uh yeah a a anyway the, the bottom line is uh, thank you, Shockstock, but uh, I, I, uh, I'll be missing you for the next uh, lifetime. Okay, uh, no, no hard feelings. Uh, I'm sure you. I, I, I'm sure nobody even remembers that I was there at this point, or who the fuck I am, or was, or <laughs> anything. But uh, yeah, uh, good luck in the future. Um, and uh, that is all I really got to say with this review, guys. I, I, I wrote no notes down. Uh, I, again, uh, I, I'm trying to forget it even happened. Uh, it was really a waste of my my time. Uh, the only thing I got out of it was the fact that uh, I got to work. I got to get you know I got to get some, some drawing uh, drawings done. And you know what? I, I did uh, I, I did happily uh, uh, make some really good friends uh, while I was down there. Um, and there were some lovely people that I stayed with. Uh, and uh, and Matt on the floor, some absolutely wonderful people, and I got to, I got to see a couple of old friends that I really um, I, I really appreciated. But that's like a really personal thing. It has nothing to do with the con itself. So uh, if you're if you're like a uh, you know an artist or if you got any anything else other than what they what they kind of expect, 
uh, you know, just weird movies and shit like that, then uh, this is this is for you. But uh, uh, vendors beware, man. And uh, I, I'm just observing and reporting. This is ex this is nothing but my personal experience being there and sitting there for 12 hours. Uh, and I, you know, I wish I could tell. Like I, I'm not I'm not going to get in the habit of telling people or talking about how much like how profitable it was for me uh but it was the absolute worst in terms of that so uh let's just call it that all right guys that's my review i hope you enjoyed that um i i uh, thank you for listening this long and uh i really appreciate you watching please comment if you'd like if you you know what if i'm totally off base and I'm wrong, uh, or you think I uh, my perception is skewed or whatever, please uh, set me straight in the comments if you'd like. I'm not going to debate you because, you know, I, I know what reality is. So, uh, you know, that, that's, that's how I felt. Uh, that's how, what happened to me personally. But uh, if, you, if you think I'm way off base, uh, let me know. Uh, if you agree, hey, let me know too. Uh, that, that'll that do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Again, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys at the next con. Bye for now.